Today we're gonna run a notorious trail. We're gonna start here in Bumblebee and run 26 miles up to the city of Crown King, which is a famous gold town. They pulled about two million dollars worth of gold out of the various mines around Crown King. And uh, this trail has been featured on Ultimate Adventure, was recommended to me by Desert Billy Bronson and a handful of other people, so you know it's gotta be good. Uh, we're leaking a savage amount of gear oil though, so I think as long as I can keep the gear oil off the brakes and keep it mostly in two wheel drive, we should have a pretty good day today. And I'll try to tell you more about the history along the way. I don't know a lot, but I'll tell you everything I do know. Rex, are you excited? What, not excited? He's low key fired up, believe me. We're kind of leaving everything in a sketchy staging area. Uh, I don't feel super good about it, but I'm pretty confident the van and the trailer will be here when we get back, so let's get after it. The first place of interest past Bumblebee on this route is a town formerly known as Turkey. With roots that go as far back as 1864 as a gold mining boom town, in 1925 the town turned ghostly, but also donned a way cooler name, Cletus. Wait, no, a uh, 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 Cleter. In modern times the town is somewhat of a touristy bar stop, and being that I'm not a drinker at all, I creeped right on past this small dusty watering hole on my way to greener pastures. Shortly after leaving Cletus, uh, the trail began to quickly gain elevation, following an old rail bed section known as Murphy's Impossible Railroad, which linked the town of Crown King with the end of the Prescott and Eastern Railroad through Mayer. Speculators and haters said it couldn't be done, but Frank Murphy made it happen in 1904. So here you are now, in 2021, driving a 1993 Jeep down this historic section of American railroad history. Pretty freaking awesome. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, Excuse me, I don't think a train could turn like that. And you're right, there were trestles along this route, lots of them. It was all part of Murphy's plan to make the impossible railroad possible. After a couple hours negotiating trail traffic and taking many filming breaks, we arrived atop the Bradshaw Mountains, amongst the Ponderosa Pines, at the notorious town of Crown King. It's funny to think we're still in Arizona, right? Crown King has an elevation of almost 6,000 feet and was founded in 1875, after the Crown King Mine. In its 75 year long heyday, the town has seen different degrees of booms, although over the last 71 years, the town specializes in tourism. And whatever this event is on this specific day. Dude, what what is going on over here right now? What what is this? So we made it to Crown King. There's absolutely no parking anywhere here. I'm actually like blocking the road kinda. And they got a special event going on, so I think we're gonna ski daddle on out of here and uh head on back down the trail. But that was a pretty fun trail. You definitely could do it in any truck, any SUV. I wouldn't do it in a sedan, but you do not need four-wheel drive. It was pretty cinchy, but extremely scenic. So yeah, this is Crown King. It's also a Saturday too, so that might be a factor, but there definitely is an event, and I'm not sure what it is, but there's a lot of people up here on top of this mountain. It's like some kind of, like, some kind of running event or something, I'm not really sure. What is the event here today? 50k. 50k running? Crown King Scramble. Dang, those people are crazy. That's a long run. Here comes one now. This guy just ran 50k. Oh my god. Way to go, dude. Yeah. Way to go, dude. Yeah. 
50k, man. How far is that? Maybe we should ask somebody. 50k. That's a little over a marathon. That's 30 miles. These people are absolutely insane. I'm kind of worn out just from driving 26. I can only imagine running 30. That's wild. You guys did it? Yeah. Dang, you're crazy, man. Hey, we all have our thing, right? That's awesome, though. Congrats. There goes one right now in the wild. He ran the 50K. Jeez, that's really something. And then right after that, I crashed my drone into the sweatpants boner on the front of my Jeep here. So that's the end of that. Broke two out of the four blades. So I'm gonna need to get some blades like quick status because I need this thing not only for YouTube next week, but I'm also making a video outside of YouTube and I'm gonna need a drone for it. Actually, wait, let's conduct an experiment here. Uh, it's kind of acting a little weird. It's like drifting a little bit. But anyway, I'm back down here in the low desert and let's talk about Crown King. Crown King, this trail is about 52 miles long and took me about four and a half hours to complete round trip. Although you could have done it way faster. I was just pulling over a lot to take breaks. Yeah, you probably could have done it maybe an hour there, hour back, two hours total. You could probably do this trail realistically. Some things that surprised me about this trail were the amount of people that were here today. It was a packed house. Everyone in Arizona was out here today and probably because it's a Saturday and there was also an event today, which, you know, those two things make for just a lot of people. But it was a lot of fun and something else that took me by surprise were the views. I knew the views are gonna be really picturesque and really nice and this video is not even gonna come, come close to doing it justice, but yeah, the views just didn't stop, especially coming back from Crown King to where we are now. Just epic views as far as your eyes can see. And uh, it's totally one of those things that you can't really watch a video to experience. You gotta just kind of come here and see them with your own eyeballs, which, you know, it's kind of how a lot of things are. But what else, man? Uh, the weather, I'm surprised I didn't need a jacket at all. I was completely prepared to bundle up once we got up to Crown King. Granted, we didn't really stick around that long, but yeah, it wasn't too cold at all. It was total tank weather the whole time, which is fantastic. Anyway, that's about all I got for you. My back is absolutely destroyed from today. Uh, yeah, it, it got punished the entire time. So I'm gonna rush back to the van, edit up this video, and hurry to get it out in less than 24 hours. And that's all I got for you guys in this one. I'll see you guys next time on Wednesday. Yeah, dude, my back is fucked up right now. Well, van trailer is still here. Yeah, boy.